Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love episode 83. Let's go ahead go ahead and get started. <laughs> oh, I need water. Um typical. But I should thank him. Here. Oh, it's him from the bus. Oh, uh, hmm? I have another one. Why does he carry around two umbrellas? But, uh, he looks out for her. About two dollars and eighty cents. That would be two thousand eight hundred won. Why is he? Uh. Hey there, little missy. Uh huh. Uh, sorry. Not asking for my number. I cannot read that. What? But. Biyok-san Asure? Asure? Asuri? Hey. Uh. Can you lend me some money? Why? It's my mom's birthday. But I don't have any money. On my way to the Asuri. Asuri. Asuri? That was the first time I thought of something else besides mom. Tell her I wish her a happy birthday. I hope she has a good day today. When people die, their birthdays are forgotten. Only the date of their death is remembered. Because I guess celebrating a dead person's birthday is a little odd. So mom's birthday was always strange. Not a day to be happy or sad. It just wasn't anything. On that frustrating day where I couldn't really do anything. I actually wanted to celebrate. Mom, happy birthday. I'm sorry I haven't been celebrating your birthday. Oh, and a friend of mine said to wish you a happy birthday. He's... Oh. I just realized I don't even know his name. The entrance ceremony. Hey, we go to the same school. Oh. Uh, hey, Yunyuk. <laughs> I finally learned his name after a year. I'm sorry. And not long after that. I'll take good care of Ra'im. In my father's place. Learn. I learned we had a secret between us. When I realized that Yunyuk might be my half-brother, I felt so... excited. And not long after that... Hey, I was just at the teacher's office and Yunyuk's parents were there. You're such a good-looking couple and- Oh, and Yunyuk looks just like his father. <gasps> So they're related? Don't tell me. So like he, so was this lady like his tutor? Like he did say like his dad was with like three women total, total. Right? I learned that the secret I thought I knew was just a misunderstanding. He really does look like him and it's not him. 
I felt disappointed. About what? That in the end, Yunyuk wasn't mine. And I was still alone. I got all excited thinking I found a half-relative. I felt so stupid. You were... You were it then. So I, I'll get going first. Good luck. You too, Yunyuk. Why did I think that? I was so stupid. Because of you. I, I'll be done at 10 p.m. Wanna come get me? He's going to walk me home. Did you really care for me? Or was it all fake? But why? I'm... I'm gonna go see my mom. Where are you? Are you at the terminal? Yeah. Wait. Why do you... Why do you keep making me want to rely on you? It's annoying. Uh, what about your classes? I'm just gonna skip it. You know what? I'd rather just keep misunderstanding. Just stay like that next to me. Feeling guilty for no reason. Sometimes feeling so sorry for me that it makes you cry. Always looking at me with worry. Keep doing that. At least let me have that. Again? Why is everything I own always taken? Operation True Love, episode 83. I missed you. But we saw each other at school. Oh, not like that. I miss being close to you like this. Uh, I told you, this is temporary suspension. I heard things brings you luck. Well, I didn't buy it because I actually believe that. <laughs> but just to say, I support you. I always will, no matter where I am. I want to give it to you in person. Huh? What's up with all the lollipops? Huh? It's that guy. That's daunting. Okay. So. Now we kind of had a little glimpse into Ra M and her life. So she knows her mom. She doesn't know her dad. Was from what we read. And she thought Yunyuk was her half-brother. So within this panel, I think she said, oh... It was, no, that's not it. That's not really her dad. So, yes or no? I don't know. Uh, it's a little confusing, a little hazy, but it makes sense why she clings onto him. Because he was always there for her and she loves that. She was so, she likes that comfort of knowing that he was always there. But now she realized, oh, he's actually not really into her like that. I do feel bad for her. But also, she's such a crappy person that I'm just like, oh. All because you go through life uh, in a tough way doesn't mean you can be a crappy person. Especially to the family that adopted you, you know? I don't know. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and thank you so much for your support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!